Hello guys! So once again, welcome back to my channel. Okay, actually I just finished making my other video. Um, you probably already watched it. Um, it was the fixing up of uh, <laughs> Nikki Fleming. Okay, I'm laughing because I really wasn't... I didn't know that she was Nikki Fleming until I already finished me um, fixing her up. Okay, it was kind of funny because um, to give you a bit of a backstory, um, I, the seller didn't really give me much um, pictures, okay? She did give me a lot of pictures about the dolls, okay? I didn't ask, to be fair, okay? I And I assume, based on the pictures, that she I was dealing with um, Just Like You number 23. But as it turns out, okay, she's not 23, but she was Nikki Fleming. And I'm not mad about that because I don't have Nikki Fleming yet. However, I decided to not name her Nikki because uh, if you watch that video, you would know that she is not in good um, condition. I had to change her wig so she doesn't look like Nikki anymore. So yeah, okay, so hopefully I will have a Nikki someday. So I'll have, um, I can get her meat outfit and then she will be Nikki Fleming. But for now, uh, that doll, okay, she will be called Anais, okay? Okay, so I'm not mad about that. That's okay. Anyway, so we're going to do another unboxing, but this time it's more of an unwrapping, okay, since I've already unboxed her. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and see who she is. Okay, let's hope that, um, okay, that she is actually who I think she is. If not, then that's fine, okay? That, that is, doesn't really matter. I, if you could probably notice, I... The angle is different and I think I'll use this angle from now on because I really don't want the focus to be on me when I'm doing this kind of videos. I really want it to be more on the dolls. Okay. Let's go and see who we have. Okay. Alright. Hmm, here's another problem. <laughs> okay, when I first got her, um, well, when I purchased her and I only saw, like, two pictures, um, I thought that she was, um, what do you call this, um, Felicity, okay. However, looking at her now, okay, so since she doesn't have, um, the pin curls, okay, at least I'm not seeing the pin curls, Okay, her hair is really, really dry, but she does have that very distinctive, uh, you know, uh, the green eyes. Okay, let's let's see, uh, because I don't want to make the same mistake. Okay, I'm going to actually check now, okay, because I have a suspicion on who she is. However, let me confirm. Okay, I'm going to be very careful now on, on checking Oh, which doll I have. So I was actually thinking that she might be, okay, just like you number 8. Okay, if you could see her picture. Okay, so they have the bow, uh, both the green eyes, okay, the laser green eyes that I really love. Uh, however, okay, if you could see, obviously she doesn't have the bangs, okay, because just like you number 8, okay, or truly me number 8, has bangs. So no, she's not. So if that's the case, then who is she? I think she is Sage, but then, um, oh, okay, here it is. I do see that she has pin curls at one point, but then it was cut. So yeah, okay, no, it's not Sage. Why did I say Sage? Okay, I meant Felicity. So she is definitely Felicity, okay? So yeah, and then let me check her the back of her neck oh my god okay back of her neck okay it's pleasant company so she is a pleasant company felicity okay at least now i am sure <laughs> and i'm not calling her all you know you're mistaking her for just like your number eight and when in fact that she is felicity but anyway okay i'm not mad about that so i'm very happy that i have felicity i already have felicity um but then okay uh, definitely there's room for another one and I'm going to you know uh, fix her up and then make her do something else okay so um, she's not going to be 
called Felicity. I'm going to name her something else. Okay, so here's what we're going to do with her. Okay, so I don't know why I keep on talking and talking. But anyway, okay, so we're going to remove the clothes first to see what we're working on. Okay, so sadly, um, we are going to be fixing more than just, you know, we're not just going to clean her up. Okay, Barbie is asking for attention but anyway so well definitely we're going to fix uh to clean her body okay clean her vinyl and then we're going to fix her hair because you know her hair is messed up okay it's very dry and we're going to also tighten her limbs okay because it's very loose like the other doll okay anais uh but aside from that okay i do see here that she her nails were painted okay the only good thing is that it's her toenails okay N and not her uh the, the nails on her hands because that's a bit you know it shows even um clearer because it's on her hands okay at least if i put it uh put shoes on her it will not show but hopefully i will be able to remove this uh using the magic eraser and i don't have to use uh you know acne cream okay to get rid of it Okay, but overall, I'm happy uh, because I don't see any ink marks. Oh, spoke too soon. But anyway, okay, well, go I'm going to go ahead and fix her up. Okay, uh, Barbie knocked off my <laughs> ring light. But anyway, so yeah, let me pause this video and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Alright, so... <sighs> okay, I... let's get some. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, what I discovered. So someone painted painted on her eyelids. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can remove it because I'm. Uh, if this is nail polish, as I suspect, you uh, you I think um, acetone will work. However, I'm just a bit concerned that if I use acetone, it's going to remove as well the paint on her eyelids so i'm not sure if i will because here's the thing i don't usually um put my dolls on a sleeping position so i really it even if um as long as they're standing I, you don't really notice anything so i don't know okay i don't know uh, if i'm going to actually remove okay um the paint on her eyelids Actually, it doesn't really look that bad, but you know, it, it looks bad. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to work on it. Um, I'm going to think about it, but anyway, so let's start first with what I can actually do. So I'm going to, um, okay, f clean her body. Okay, I'm going to remove the, the pants now. Okay, initially I wasn't planning on showing how I'm going to clean the body, but I decided to show you anyway. So here's another a new magic eraser. Well, not new. Okay, I also use it before, but this is the the one I use with Anais. Okay, so it's a bit cleaner. Okay, so I'm just going to spritz water on it, and then we're going to use it on her. Okay, again, don't uh, scrub too hard on the parts where there is paint, like her eyebrows. If you don't want her to lose her eyebrows okay don't do it okay don't scrub near those areas just be careful okay on the parts that that doesn't that doesn't have any uh paint or doesn't have the eyebrows or freckles uh that's fine okay you can rub okay especially if it's really dirty look okay it's really really dirty okay Okay, I'm going to try and see if it'll work. Okay, if I, it's working. Okay, so uh, the paint, uh, the nail polish is working. I mean, what I meant by that, it's working. I can remove it using the magic eraser. I just have to be really careful, though. Because 
I really don't want to remove the face paint and of course this is water so you should avoid getting water in your doll's eyes because it will rust um, the metal part in her eyes okay there is a metal part there no unfortunately I spoke too soon Okay, as you can see, okay, she is as dirty as Anais. Okay, okay. so <gasps> I discovered that she has a septi instead of uh, the usual, you know, um, neck, neck strings. Uh, now, it's not really a problem. It's just that it's a bit tedious because I can remove this. I can remove the septi, okay, and then just uh, exchange it with the neck string. However, okay, I really don't feel like doing it. And yeah, I guess I feel kind of lazy. Okay, and then I think um, her, it's not that wobbly. Okay, anyway, I think I'll, here's what I'll just do. I'll just focus on her hair since it's really, really dry and tangled. So I'm going to spritz it with water and then um, I maybe I'm going to iron it. I'm not sure yet if I want to wash it with shampoo because guys this is not real hair okay it's just plastic so uh, shampoo is just for the benefit of the person who's going to who owns the doll if they want to uh, shampoo the hair of their doll okay again it's not necessary unless it's really really dirty okay maybe uh, maybe that it's justifiable to shampoo the hair but if it's not dirty Okay, um, there's no really need, uh, a need for it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz water on her hair and then I'm going to uh, brush it uh, to remove the tangle. So start at the bottom, then work yourself up. And then to make it even more better, okay, to um, make it uh, soft and shiny again, I'm going to use an iron. Okay. Okay, some progress. So as you can see, I've... Uh, this were removed uh, when I brush her hair. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. However, it's really unavoidable when you're brushing hair this dry and tangled. But uh, definitely it looks better okay, than it did earlier. Um, I think I might, um, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to work. But I may uh, shampoo her hair. Okay. But anyway, I'm just going to keep on brushing and hopefully um, all the tangles will be out. So, uh, it's been quite a while. Uh, I actually already finished uh, my dinner. Okay, yes, it's already like, uh, what, 7 o'clock in the evening now. Okay, so, okay. Um, well, this Felicity doll um, hair is a bit better, although... Of course, it's still very dry. So just waiting for this to heat up and then I'm going to spritz water on her hair. Uh, when it's really, really wet, um, then I'm going to use the flat iron to straighten it. Okay, this is how you're going to um, fix um, the dry hair. So is it hot already? Okay, let me try. Okay. So... I think I'm going to take a smaller portion of hair. Spritz it, make sure it's really wet. Okay, because if you're going to use it on dry hair, there's a possibility that it's going to burn. And of course, you don't want that. You want smooth hair okay, and not burnt hair. Wet. Okay. So, 
that's it okay so do not like keep it long okay so it's going to be like you know just make it fast and as you can see it's already looking better so you're going to do this um, section by section on her hair okay and what this does is it's going to um, remove the dryness okay make it smooth again and straighter and that's it okay I'm going to do this off cam okay since you already have an idea of how to do it okay so I'm just going to show you I'm not yet finished but here's part of the hair that I was able to you know iron out okay as you can see it's really smooth now I can run my fingers through it so yeah okay very good and then this is the hair that I still have to work on so as you can see okay there is a very 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 visible difference between them okay between the two um, sides of hair so I'm going to of course finish this until all the hair on this Felicity doll's head is smooth and silky okay so here she is so this is my Felicity doll okay and she's all fixed up as you can see her hair is very smooth and silky now okay so I have no trouble at all um, brushing across it okay brushing through it rather so I just use um, a flat iron okay if you could remember her hair earlier it was so dry and tangled so definitely you will not be able to brush through it without it um, without your brush being stuck okay now she looks really really nice okay, so I dress her up in this American girl blouse I'm not sure which collection this is from I think this is just um, what do you call this this is just a truly me outfit okay but then I'm sure that this pants is from uh, Julie Julie's be forever collection okay her meat outfit for be forever and then I'm I still made her wear um, the sandals that she came with okay so again I'm not going to name this doll Felicity since I already have a Felicity doll okay the, uh, she's always in her meat outfit but I'm going to name this doll Cartagena Okay, I'm, not, I'm sure that's not the, pro, the right pronunciation for that. It's supposed to be Cartagena. It's, it's, it's a Spanish name, a Spanish city, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't want to name, I don't want it to be like uh, pronounced that way. So I want it to be pronounced Cartagena. So I think it's more exotic sounding. Okay, definitely nicer and more, uh, I, I don't know, sexy, I suppose. <laughs> a bit weird uh, for adult to have a sexy name but anyway okay so it's Cartagena so that's how I pronounce it so yeah okay meet Cartagena so she is my um, Felicity uh, well I made her into a different kind of doll because since I don't want the same doll in my collection so yeah very very happy to have this doll in my collection now so what do you think uh, did you like my transformation? So please, thank, um, could you continue to watch my videos? So I'll be posting more and more videos in the upcoming weeks and months. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to have my dolls. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay, but, but yeah, yeah, just wait for it. So hopefully, um, in April or may, even May, I'll have those dolls with me. And I'll, of course, um, I'll be able to do uh, more unboxings not really unboxings more fixing ups of dolls in my upcoming videos okay so that's all so thank you so much for watching this far um i hope you enjoyed and have a great day or night whatever wherever you are in what time uh, you're watching this okay bye 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 bye